Women dominate the sixth generation of the Yingling family. And now Dick Yingling's daughters are helping out other women who are looking to break into the brewing industry. Newswatch 16's Chase Sr. has more. The production never seems to stop at the Yingling manufacturing plant in Pottsville. That's a big reason why America's oldest brewery is still thriving after 190 years. I think we quietly try and lead by example. That's really been the motto that our dad has set for us. Um, he's really nose to the ground, that kind of a hard worker. So we, we try and embody those same type of principles. Usually it's men who are commonly associated with beer, but not here at Yingling. Sisters Jennifer, Cheryl, Debbie, and Wendy Yingling have started to take more of a leadership role within the company. And now they're looking to help other females who are also interested in the beer industry. Recently, we at Yingling's announced our partnership with Pink Boots Society. So Pink Boots Society is a nonprofit organization geared towards education and empowering women in the brewing industry. My three sisters and myself were sixth generation members of the Yingling family. So we thought three, three uh, female brewers, um, why not partner with Pink Boots Society? So this was a great opportunity to provide scholarships up to $50,000 worth um, for applicants. According to a study done by Auburn University in 2014, only 29% of brewery workers are females and only 17% of breweries across the country had women as CEOs. I think over the years, as you see the rise in craft brewing, women have started to enter that space in that industry, and it's just been very rewarding for my sisters and myself to be able to be partners with Pink Boots Society and see the rise in women in the industry. And any woman who is trying to study brewing can apply for this scholarship. The current application window goes until September 30th, but there will be another application window sometime in the spring. Chase Senior News, Watch 16, Pottsville.